What is up, YouTube? I am the Aussie VHS Prepta. Robbie Hollywood coming at you with a vinyl series. A uh, little quick little vinyl series. Three little parts. Three quick little parts. Uh, I'm also going to do a giveaway. I'm going to do a giveaway, but you've got to go. You've got to watch both parts, and I'll tell you how to win what I'm going to give away. And it's to do with your vinyls, okay? So two parts, you've got two things to do. But the first episode, I want to teach you how to store store your uh, records, your vinyls, records, whatever you want to call them, and how to clean them. Also how to clean them. Now, the first thing I want to say, first thing I want to say about records. I've got a Kamal record here. A Kamal record. We see them at the op shops all the time. Now, you see this ring? You see this ring here? The back of the vinyl cover? That is because people have been stacking them all on top of each other like this. Up that way. You do not stack your vinyls like that. The heavier it gets, the worse it gets for this plastic vinyl. You will ruin your vinyl, you'll eventually snap your vinyl, you'll eventually make it wobbly. You do not want that. You don't want that. So stack them up this way. Stack them up this way. Do not lay them down. Do not lay them down. That's my first tip on this video. Do not lay them down and stack them on top of each other. You will wreck them. And if you see that when you buy any vinyls, that means people have been stacking them all like that in one big pile. Not good for your vinyl. I'll use this one as an example. This is my favorite album of all time, Kiss Crazy Nights. Now, how do you handle your vinyl? So you get it out and just hold it like this. Like this. Finger in the middle, and thumb on the edge. Do not press all on this. This is delicate stuff, man. Look how dusty this one is. Now, how do you check your vinyl? So that's how you hold it. You either hold it like this, and hold it like this, or you can hold it like this before you put it on the uh, record player, all right? Now, how do you check your vinyl? Me, if you're buying it, you could just line it up like that. You can see that it's straight. You can see that it's not wobbly. You will see wobbly ones from when people have stacked them on top of each other. They have uh, left them in the sun and they start getting warped. And then when you play them, you see them go, <laughs> you don't want that shit. So you can see like that, scratches. Now for scratches, you put them in the light and you just go around, just like normal. Now this one's got a lot of fingerprints on it. You beard hairs. Who would have done that? Okay, so that vinyl is pretty good, but it is dirty. It's very, very dirty. You're a dirty vinyl. You're a dirty, dirty vinyl. So, you know, if you actually do put your thumb on there or your fingers and all that, and why this is all dirty with thumbprints and all that, you know our fingers collect, like, dirt and grease and grime? That gets in all these grooves. That gets in all these grooves of the vinyl, and that's what's giving your shitty playback uh, might skip, whatever. But the oils from your fingers do go in there, so that's why you do want to hold them like that. So how are we going to clean them? All right, so I've got this cleaning kit. This cleaning kit here was from JB Hi-Fi, $25, $25. Now, a lot of people make up their own solutions and all that. I don't recommend it. Um, but look at this idiot that washes his vinyl in the sink, in the sink. Uh, a record in the water, make sure there's nothing sharp there, and then start cleaning. Try not to rub the label too much, it doesn't matter if you go across. What? Do you know what's wrong about that? Do you know what's wrong about that? The, this part here, this part here, see the, uh, see how it says Mercury Records, Kiss Crazy Nights, the years and all that? He just washed it in the sink. Now all that is going to peel off. That is important to your record. That is so important. <laughs> All right, so this has a carbon fiber brush in it, which is perfect for going around and around. You've also got the microfiber cloth in here as well, and you've got some liquid as well. This is a real good little kit for $25. And I'm gonna give one of these kits away after the two-part series. So all you have to do is put in a like, and I want to see the same amount of likes as the same amount of hashtags. Hashtag, I'll give you the hashtag at the end. Or three quarters of the way, I'll make you watch all the way through so you can find the hashtag. Different hashtag next week as well. And you've got to have a hashtag both weeks and then I'll do a live draw of who wins this. 
but there's different things to use, not just this, okay? Now with the carbon fiber brush, put the record on the record player, let it start spinning without the needle on there, and let the carbon fiber brush just go around and around, very softly, very softly, pick up all the dust, pick up all the dust and all the crap, okay? Okay, so the carbon fiber brush gets up all the dust, okay? So that's got up all the dust and all that. So in this pack, you will also have a cleaning solution. Don't make your own cleaning solution, just get this pack, okay? Uh, you'll get cleaning solution. You wanna put the liquid on the microfiber. The microfiber cloth, don't press too hard and use the brush before you use this. Otherwise, you're going to push all the little hairs and all the fibers into the groove. I know it sounds, uh, how can shit get right into these tiny little grooves, but I do. So go in a circular motion with the microfiber cloth, with the solution on it, circular motion around and around and around, and you will get a pristine, clean vinyl to listen to. Ah, oh, beautiful, we can listen to Crazy Nights right now. Now the other thing as well, uh, a lot of people ask, uh, there's certain scratches, will certain scratches come out? Well, with this kit, there is gonna be little marks that will come out, because when you're using your brush, when you're using your brush in a circular motion as it is going around on the record player, it's gonna get all the, the pubes and all the fucking dust and the hair off. Then your microfiber with the solution, you're gonna clean it nicely, very, very nicely. Then you'll be able to look again in the light, like this, to see if there is any scratches. Now, some you, you, I'm gonna be honest with you right now. If there is a deep, deep scratch in your record, there's no fixing it. Put it where that bit is, where the scratch is, and see if it jumps during the songs, and see if it jumps, bubble, 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 skip. Your record's done, don't resell it, don't. You can keep it if you wanna keep the artwork, because some of the artwork is great. And I'll get to the artwork in a minute, if you do wanna keep uh, scratch records, but, if it uh, doesn't work and it's got massive scratches on it, don't resell it because <sighs> you can't get scratches out of records. Simple as that. Little light scratches, you might be lucky enough to uh, clean so good and no, no dust in it and all that, you will be looking pretty good when you're uh, playing it, but big scratches is a no, no, no. Now, there's usually cardboard uh, inside the records, the old ones, there's cardboard ones of these, uh, the holders. Um, look, I tell you what, I'll be honest with you, the cardboard ones, as they get older, they start to disintegrate and they will ruin and scratch your records. So these plastic ones you can actually get from JB Hi-Fi as well. You can get, okay, you can get, I'll put it up on the screen. I took a, I took a screenshot of it when I went and brought this for the prize because I've got all my ones already set over with the record players, but I was filming this here today just for you guys. Um, so, of course, the five-piece vinyl uh, cleaning set uh, for yourselves is only $25, which that is going to be a prize for someone, uh, because I already have mine. Um, you can get the sleeves, like I was just talking about, the sleeves for 12-inch vinyl records. A pack of 50 is only $20, $20, so if you need to replace any of your cardboard ones, uh, do that, JB Hi-Fi in Australia. Now, also, there is this thing I seen in America. They had a vinyl washer. I did not know that it even existed in Australia. A vinyl washer. This looks pretty damn cool. Uh, I do say so myself. So this vinyl washer, it comes with basically everything. Comes with two rollers, cleaning, two cleaning brushes, uh, one washing sink with lid. Uh, one all-round cleaning cloth, one microfiber cleaning cloth, one air drying rack for 10 records, and two vinyl cleaning concentrated fluid. This is around 150 bucks. I do want to get one for myself, it looks pretty cool. You put the, because uh, I, I, I don't have it, I'll show you some footage from an American one. Um, basically works the same way, you just put your record in it and you spin it around and you spin it around and it washes it and see how it keeps the middle part, the um, uh, the sticker on the middle there, the original logo and all the information of the uh, album is not getting wet at all. So that is pretty freaking cool. 
Also wanted to show you, um, I saw in uh, JB Hi-Fi as well, if you are a record collector and you want to display your records, uh, display your favourite records up on um, up on the wall and have a whole heap of them. Hey, I got all the Kiss ones. Maybe I'll put all the Kiss ones in the uh, in these. But anyway, I've seen these. These were, uh, I think they're about 15 bucks, 16 bucks. They were between 15 and 20 dollars anyway. Um, it's a frame, especially for vinyl albums. Uh, with your records still in there and all that. So if you want to uh, display them in your house and um, put them all up, there you go. You've got your, uh, <laughs> you've got your, uh, you've got your vinyls. You've got your vinyls there uh, up on the wall, which one day I think I might do because that'll be pretty damn cool. Pretty damn cool. All right, guys, the code word is going to be, make sure you give a thumbs up because I want to see corresponding thumbs up with the hashtags, and uh, you'll get a bonus entry if you share this video on Instagram as well. Hopefully it helped out for you guys uh, with uh, washing vinyls, uh, but I recommend these cleaning kits and circular motion. Don't go deep, don't go deep. Hashtag will be cleaning kit. Cleaning kit, hashtag cleaning kit, and uh, let me know, um, yeah, if uh, this helped you out and all that. And next episode, the second episode of vinyls is how to know if your vinyl is a first pressing or not, and what, how to look up and research what your vinyls are worth. Okay, all right, cool, cool. I'm gonna listen to some crazy nights. Cheers, guys. Uh, subscribe, like, and um, share along. And um, hashtag cleaning kit because uh, you get an opportunity to win one of these cleaning kits and I'll post that to you wherever you are in the world. And um, I'll do that on a live, but we've still got one more episode and you've got to have that hashtag as well for that episode. All right, cheers guys.